Hi guys, I'm um, Owen here at the Fitness Academy of Boy and um, what I'm going to talk to you today about our uh, push-ups. So um, we see a lot of uh, people coming in to us here or whether it be online or even football teams and training and things like that uh, where our technique and our push-ups is pretty poor. So what I'm going to talk, show you is just a couple of things that we need to be aware of and what we need to be thinking about when we are doing our push-ups. So um, when we get down into press-up position, Okay, we want to make sure that our body's in a nice straight line, okay, so we don't want our, our hips sagging at the bottom, okay, and we don't want to be leaving our hips miles up in the air either, so we want to think of a body in a nice straight line, okay, so once you get into a pressing position, squeeze your hips nice and hard, keeping your feet nice and close, okay, so that should be our starting position at the top, and that's how we should look at the bottom of the push-up as well, so what we want to avoid is this, where our hips are collapsing all the way down, but we were piking up into the air and pushing our bum miles up into the air as well. So okay, so that's a couple of things that we want to avoid. Elbow position, okay, we, what we want to be looking for is keeping those elbows nice and tucked in. Okay, so we see too many people doing push-ups out like this. Okay, so they rotate their hands and then the push-up will be going down like that with elbows going miles out. What we want to try and see is keeping those elbows nice and tucked in and all the way up. So in relation to a push-up as well, every rep we should really be looking for chest down to the floor. Okay, so full chest down to the floor and then full lockout at the top of each rep. If you're just not sure or you want a little bit of a guidance, okay, just put a cone underneath you and use that so you know your chest is touching there. Or if you're comfortable enough, obviously getting your chest the full way down to the floor. So what it should look like, Chest off the floor, all the way, full extension. Chest off the floor, full extension. Keeping those elbows nice and tucked in and not just bobbing my head up and down. If you struggle with push-ups, okay, and you're not able to do them off the ground or with full technique, okay, there's no point in doing bad reps of your push-ups just like you're doing any other weighted exercise. So what we will do from there is we will not do our push-ups off our knees here because generally speaking if you're doing push-ups off your knees all that's going to happen is you're just going to get better at doing push-ups off your knees. You're not really going to make that progression to doing push-ups from your toes and that's what we kind of want to get people to. So instead of push-ups off from your knees what we will do is we'll do them what we call an incline press-up um, and that will be a push-up from whether it be a raised platform like a bar, a box, a bench, whatever it might be. And what you can do is you can adjust the bar in the rack, have it up at different heights. So the higher the bar is, the easier the, the version will be. And then as you lower that down, the harder it will get to be. And it will be have better transfer to actually doing a full push-up off the floor. When you're doing it from the bar, it's the exact same things apply. Okay, we want to have our hands directly below our shoulders, squeezing our glutes. Nice flat back, keeping those elbows nice and tucked in, bringing our chest down to touch the bar, and extending the full locker. Up and down. Is that okay? So instead of doing push ups from your knees, try and do an incline push up instead. Keeping those elbows tucked in, keeping that body in a straight line, making sure our chest is down to the floor all the time. Okay?